Hello everyone, today we're out here on Bush Rangers Run, and we're after a mountainer kangaroo. Now, I've been getting this request quite a bit from a lot of different people. A lot of people want me to hunt kangaroos, and I'm kind of surprised because I didn't think that many people were interested in kangaroos. Uh, as far as, you used to be able to look at the leaderboard, and there was only, I think like 82 was leaderboards. But basically that's because no one really hunts kangaroos. I mean, I hunt a lot of animals on this, but I don't really hunt kangaroos that much. But, if you guys want me to try and find a mounter kangaroo, let's try and find a mounter kangaroo. Now we have the 270 Call of the Wild with us, and we also have the AR-223. We'll probably use the AR-223 if we see something that's going to be 80 plus. And that's kind of what our mark's going to be for finding a mounter kangaroo. There's a few kangaroos trotting across right here. Now, I think that might be a male. It's kind of hard to tell in the dark. Alright, so it looks like they're all females here. And that's not really going to do us any good. We might as well take one out. Just to get the hunt going. And we got one. Yeah, like I said, it's pretty early right now, so it's going to be kind of hard to tell whether or not they're male or female. But when we get a good spotting on a male, we'll probably take them out with the AR-223. Well, it appears we have a billy goat out here. So, we might as well take him out. And he's down. Yeah, this 270 Call of the Wild definitely does a pretty good job out here. Alright, here's our first kangaroo. And it indeed was a female. And we hit her in the lung and shoulder blade at 164 meters. She scores 34.7. So I guess that is kind of cool that the females actually do score something. Which, most of the other animals, especially the deer species, you don't score anything for the females. So... That is a good thing if you want to hunt kangaroos, and you can shoot everything and still get points. Alright, here is our feral goat, so let's pick him up. We shot him at 165 meters and we hit him in the spine and right lung. He scores 93.6. Now, where we're spawned in here is at this tent here, and kind of what I want to do is basically hunt the same way I would wood for uh, feral goats, and that is... I kind of want to push around this area here, hunt all the way through here, and kind of circle back around this area here. Alright guys, well we just found a group of kangaroos out here. I'm not too sure if there's any males out here or not, but there's definitely a ton of roos. A lot of times you'll find a group of females and there could be one male in there somewhere, but you just need to find it. Well, unfortunately I don't see it right now. So I think it might just be another group of females. And a hog. Not a bad hog. Alright, so let's take out pretty much the biggest female over here. This one right here. And she definitely hit pretty good. Should go down. Just drilled that hog on the run too. Alright, so our root went down and the hog is hit. Pretty solid. I think it was definitely an intestine hit. So let's mark her. And then let's go over and check out the blood. Well, apparently we didn't hit him too good because there he is running right there. Just saw him. Alright, so we're going to put another one in him to try and finish him off a little bit here. That'll definitely slow him down. And I do think that is the same one we just shot. Maybe not. Cause we got one running up here now. Yep, 
Yeah, I think we just shot a different one on accident. Because <laughs> this one only has one hole in it. And it looks pretty fresh to me. Let's grab this kangaroo. It is a female. We shot her in the spine at 151.9 meters. And she scores 27.8. No, there's definitely two different hogs here. You can tell by the tracks right there. Alright guys, so we just found another Ruo here. But this is a male. But I have a feeling this is going to be a pretty decent one. How we found this is we actually found a track that looked like it could be from a decent sized male kangaroo. And it led us to this direction. And there he is right out there. A little ways out there. Right behind that brush. There he is. You can just barely see his head right there. But I think we might take him out with the 223. Because he definitely could have some size to him. And there's a female there. She's coming right to us. So he's kind of like right on the backside of this lip right here. And we need to get a shot on him pretty soon. Also, there's a hog pretty close by here too. We don't want to have him attack us. Oh, is that our meal? I believe so. Oh, we made a good hit on him. We made an awesome hit on him actually. He was kind of hopping and put it right by the front shoulder. Definitely should have hit some lung. So let's go check. Oh, that's some body blood there. So we actually hit it right in the front shoulder. And apparently it didn't penetrate through into the lungs. But it still should die. Look at that. We got ourselves a dead roo. Let's go get him. Yeah, I thought we made a pretty good shot. Because a lot of times if you hit him in the body and it's not that good of a shot, you really don't find him. You'll eventually lose blood and then it might die, but you just won't find him because they run quite a long ways. And especially if you keep tracking them and jump, jumping them up. But here he is down right here. So let's pick him up. And... We shot him in the front shoulder at 102 meters and he scores 61.5. So we didn't get a spotting on him, but I just assumed he might be a good one. Oh, well, he's not tiny, but he's definitely not a good one. So anyways, he's still our first one and let's try and find another nice male. Alright guys, so we just found another, well, apparently we found a goat too. Yeah, there's a goat not too far away, but we just found a... There's the goat. Little piebald female. Oh, there's a bunch of them. All right, well, we want to take out this kangaroo. There she is. And she's down. And there goes a goat. Just watched him run this way. I'm not sure if we hit him or not. We might have hit a little bit behind her. But she might have went down. Let's go check. Alright, well, I checked all around. It didn't look like there's any blood from that feral goat. So I think it was a clean miss. So that's fine. Let's pick up this kangaroo. And wow, we heart shot her at 192 scores, 30.6. So not a bad size female kangaroo. All right, guys, well, I see another kangaroo way out here. So let's take her out. And she's down. Definitely going to have to mark her. We're never going to find her. I don't even see her. Should be somewhere somewhere around there and here she is down right here 
So let's pick her up. We shot her at 213.9 meters and we hit her in the right lung and stomach. She scores 32.3. So definitely not a bad sized female. And a pretty good shot for the 270 call of the wild. Alright guys, well we just found a pretty cool looking goat. It's actually red with white stripes on it. I don't think I've ever seen a goat that looks like this before. Uh, I don't know if it's some type of piebald or what it is, but we're definitely going to take it out. And he's down. Alright, so here's our goat down right here. And like I said, I've never seen one that looks like this before. I'm not sure if it's considered rare or what it is, but it definitely looks pretty cool. And we're going to pick it up and probably take a trophy shot of it. Uh, you know what? We might get it full body mounted just because it looks so cool. And we can put it in another lodge that I have. So we shot it at 123 meters and we hit it in the right lung. It scores 129.9, but he is pretty cool looking. And he's a male. He actually isn't a bad sized male either. So take a look at that thing. That is a pretty cool looking feral goat right there. And yeah, let's get it mounted. Alright guys, we just got a call from a male kangaroo and I can just barely see him hopping through right there. So we're going to have to take him with a 270. I think we made a pretty good hit and I didn't see anything take off. So I think it's safe to say that he's down. Yeah, he was just in way too much breath to try and take a shot with the AR-223. Yep, he's down right here. So that worked out pretty good. Now, we didn't get a spotting on him either, so I'm not sure what he's going to score. He doesn't look too large to me, so let's pick him up and see what he scores. Oh my god, he's a giant. 84.2. We shot him at 168 meters and we hit him in the intestine. We just found ourselves a Mauner Kangaroo. Yeah, we only had about one shot on him. And if we went to take the shot, he probably would have hopped out of bounds. And then we probably wouldn't have found him again. But I think my biggest Kangaroo ever is only like 81 or 82. So this might be my new personal best. And he's definitely an awesome one to get mounted. He has a huge tail on him. You know what? That's actually a pretty cool trophy shot right there. I think we're going to go with that. And, well, we can't use this trophy shot. Shadows, we need to do that. Alright. No, maybe not. We might have to go with no filter because he blends in with the background so much. So let's just go with no filter and let's accept it. And yes, let's get him mounted. Wow, we just shot a giant kangaroo. Yeah, if you see right here, the out of bounds is so close. And what would have happened is we would have used the AR-223 and even if we did hit him, he definitely would have ran out of bounds, and I don't think he probably would have died, but even if he did die, he would have died somewhere like right here, and we wouldn't be able to get to him in time without getting kicked out of bounds. Alright guys, we just spotted a few female kangaroos out here, quite a ways out there, probably close to 200 meters. You can see him hopping right through right there. And we actually just dropped that one. Wow. That was a pretty good shot. I think we might have even gotten tested on that. Hmm. 
It's saying 205 right there. So we'll mark that. Oh, right there's one too. Oh, dropped her. So there should be two down right there. Did that one stop? About to go over the hill. We might have got her actually, because we were holding it pretty high, but she was out there quite a ways, so we actually had to hold it a little bit high. It might have sunk right in there and hit her. I'm not sure. Alright, this one's out there quite a ways. And she's down. And that's another thing, we need to reload this gun, because we just went through a whole clip of ammo. Alright, so let's pick up these ruse here. Hit this one at 208 meters in the left hind leg and left lung. That was a pretty good shot. I thought we hit intestine. Apparently not. And this one we heart shot at 173.9 meters. She scores 28.8. Now let's mark this one over here. She's dead, right? There. But I want to go up here and check to see if we didn't hit that one. Somehow we could have hit it. Oh! We got a goat running way out here. It looked pretty decent too. Looks like we have a few goats here. Now I don't have any feed in my bait here. So they're just kind of roaming around. This is a good area for goats. Another one there. And of course we just found a monster goat. It looks like a 300 plus. 250 to 450. He looks exactly identical to the one that I have in the other lodge. So we'll definitely use the AR-223 on him. I don't even have a bow to shoot him with to be honest. But let's try and hit him. Then let's try and take out this other one on the run. Ooh, good thing we didn't shoot that because that was definitely not the right one. There's another goat that looks exactly identical to this one. Except for it has not even half the rack on it. So where did this one go? I did see him trotting though. So he could be... Oh, there he is. There he is. Dropped him. Now let's take out this one. Bad shot. Well, not bad. We hit him. Definitely got two in him. He should go down. Yeah, he's down. Alright, that worked out pretty good, actually. I'm going to guess this one might score like 250s or 260. Actually, no. It did have a minimum of 250 on it, didn't it? This one's going to be probably, it might be 300s. Let's find out. We hit it in the left lung and intestine. And he scores 283.2. So he's definitely trophy shot worthy. But I don't think we're going to get him mounted. Because we already have a 300 plus mounted that looks just like him. Yeah, he does look pretty cool though. And let's head over here and go grab this other goat that we shot. Let's see. This way. Also, there's usually some kangaroos around here too. There's a goat right there. Two goats. Now, let's see if we can't try and get both of these out. I thought I hit that one. Definitely hit him that time. And that one's hit too. I think both of them are down. I only saw one black one go down, but 
pretty sure the other one went down too. All right, here's the other goat we shot. And we hit him at 187 meters and then 200 meters. He scores 163.4, so not a bad male. All right, and here's the other two we just shot. So I was right, this one actually did go down and then the black one went down, so we must have hit this one twice. Let's pick him up. You definitely see a hole right in his intestine there. Yeah, we hit him at body, 176 meters, and then intestine at 191. He scores 162.5 also, so he's not a bad male. And here is our other goat. I see a hole in the back leg there, probably intestine. Yeah, we hit him in the actual left lung. First shot was the lung. And then we hit him at 205 meters in, in the intestine, and he scores 108.4. All right, just like that, we got another male kangaroo call right up here. And there he is right there. So let's take him out. Uh, he doesn't look that big. Let's take him out the 270. And he's down. Alright, here's our kangaroo right here. Let's pick him up. And he is another monster. 83.8 he scores. We just got two mounter kangaroos and one hunt. We shot him at 174.3 meters in the shoulder blade and left lung. Boy, that 270 call of the wild sure does a pretty good job on him. That's a pretty cool trophy shot right there. And I don't think we're going to get him mounted because we already have one getting mounted. And we only need one mounter kangaroo. I mean, they're both mounters for sure, but we only need one in the lodge for now. All right. Well, let's go head over to the Trophy Lodge and go take a look at our Mounter Kangaroo. You know what? I think we might actually get the other Kangaroo mounted too. I just so happen to have a Lodge that's just sitting there. So for now, let's put the other Mounter Kangaroo in there. But it looks like we have a belted male coming right past us here. And I think we're going to take him out. Not a bad sized male. 680 to 700 score on him. So let's take him out with the 270. Definitely should have been a solid hit. Now you notice I held a little bit far back from the shoulder blade because this 270 doesn't quite have the penetration of say a 300 or even a, like 30 odd 6. So let's mark where he was at. Right about there. Yep, we got some good blood. And we have a dead pig right here. Nice. Yeah, it's always cool to find a decent belted like this. And we hit him in the left lung at 103 meters. He scores 693.4. So, I don't think we're going to take a trophy shot at him actually, but we'll just take a look at him here. Uh, he's actually a really cool pig, especially when they score 800 plus. Because you can see the stripe on him. Nice and black and white. All right, well, let's go head over to the Trophy Lodge and go take a look at our Mounter Kangaroo. All right, so we're back here at the Trophy Lodge, and here is our Mounter 84.2 Kangaroo. And also, over here is our 83.8 Kangaroo that we got him mounted too. So I happen to have a lodge just sitting here completely empty, and he's actually going to be just chilling in this lodge for now. We shot him with the 270 uh, Call of the Wild. And actually, he was not too far away from this first one that we shot. We shot him with the 270 Call of the Wild, too. But he was kind of on the hop, walking quite a ways out. And we were about to lose him, but luckily we took a shot. And we made it count. I think we hit him in the intestines. So he went down pretty fast. All right, so what we're going to do is leave him chill here. And we're going to move this guy, which is the big one, over to our lodge. And also in this room... We have our 129 scoring piebald feral goat. 
So if you look at the rarity, it shows right here, it says piebald, and we shot him with the 270 call of the wild. That's a pretty cool looking goat. I'm definitely pretty happy with him. I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to get him mounted at first. Well, actually, I really wanted to get him mounted, but he wasn't that big, and I wasn't sure if he was rare or not, but he definitely looks really cool in here. And speaking of goats, there's one just called out there. So, yeah, I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure if it's rare, but it does say piebald, so I would assume it's definitely a rare. I have seen quite a few black and white striped ones, but I've never seen a red striped one with white on it like this. And especially even the forehead. His head looks so cool. He has like a dark kind of shade on it and then a, a white tip on his nose. Yeah, that's definitely a pretty awesome touch to this trophy lodge. So he'll be in here along with our 83.8 .8 scoring kangaroo. These two are just going to be chilling in here for now. All right, so here we have our kangaroo sitting here. Actually, he's standing here. So we moved him into our other trophy lodge. And there he is right there, 84.2. And he definitely is a nice touch to this lodge. You can see him. He almost feels like he belongs there. So we only have a few more spots left over here. And then I guess we're going to go over to the next lodge. So like I was saying before, 82 was probably my biggest kangaroo. Now I didn't hunt them much, but I definitely hunted them quite a bit when they first came out. And the biggest one I ever saw was 82, I believe. It might have only been actually 81. And this hunt we shot at 84.2 and we shot at 83.8. So we shot two monster red kangaroos. And this is the one we ended up going with here, the 84.2. We have them mounted, and that's a pretty cool addition. All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.